The last thing we're going to talk about in terms of factoring is what to do when the coefficients are fractions or decimals. So if it's fractions, what you want to do is factor out the least common denominator, or if it's decimals, you want to factor out a power of 10 until the coefficients are integers. So for example, if you have 1 half x squared minus 1 third x plus 5 6, focus on the denominator. So you have a 2, 3, and 6. So the least common denominator is going to be a 6. And so we're going to factor out a 1 6 from all of these and see what's left over. So 1 6 times 3 gives us 1 half, and then we still have the x squared. And 1 6 minus 2 gives us 1 third, and we still have an x. And 1 6 times positive 5 gives us 5 6. And then we would factor from there. So this one, because it's a trinomial with a leading coefficient of greater than 1, we would use the box method. And we can factor from there. Um, what about if we have, for example, 0.1x squared plus 0.5x minus 0.6? So again, these are all decimals. And let's factor out a power of 10 until the coefficients are integers. So since they all have one decimal place, we're going to factor out one decimal place. So 0.1 times 1 gives us 0.1, and we still have the x squared. 0.1 times 5 is going to give us 0.5, and we still have an x. And 0.1 times negative 6 is going to give us negative 0.6. So now this time we have a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. So all we need to do is find two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 5 and we would factor it that way.